against Snap Kelly Sagat a lot. Lionheart is also Sagat. The thing is that they play very different kinds of Sagat. You know, Lionheart definitely has a riskier style of Sagat. It's more read heavy. Yeah. Uh, not that Sanford is afraid to make reads, but he likes to play a little bit more of a of a uh, zoning sort of game with Sagat. And Lionheart can do that, but he likes to he likes to to mix it up too. And I don't know whether Jaron will be ready for that, but Jaron's Jaron's play style is usually to minimize risk. Yes. Uh, in this game, so. Uh, we'll see how, how well he can do that. We've seen Lionheart in this tournament so far do things like three times in a row doing meaty Kara uppercut with Sagat without meter to get out of it. And it worked. He played Filipino champ and, and got that stuff. So he's he's already been making that work this weekend. I just winked at the camera. Did you? Yeah. Oh, we were talking about that, yeah, whether dude. you've actually winked ever in real life. Yep, I just did it. There you go. I did it. I'm winking. I've never done it, and I think I'm cool with that. <laughs> Uh, guys, don't you want a nice Ultra David wing from you? Won't that set you ablaze in your beds right now on Sunday Please. afternoon and morning? You guys are sitting at home getting this beautiful video game action. I don't know, man. If I'm I was not in winking. Bed, if I was in bed at home, you would want me to wink at yes. you. I don't. I don't need to know that. That make. Come on, look. The next time you're in, in bed at home on the stream, don't tweet the don't wink at me. Tweet the cop. Please don't wink at me in that case. <laughs> It's coming. You're gonna feel great. Though. Yeah. It's gonna feel it way be better coming. than you expect. So it's it's like you were saying. That's the reason why I kind of like Jaron in this matchup. He's minimizing risk while Lionheart is taking it. So Lionheart is really gonna have to figure out how to make these risks pay off. He needs the damage to come. Um, so so will he be able to do that? It's possible. It's definitely possible. Sagat can do it. Yeah, I, t I talked to him about why he likes to play a little a, a little riskier, mm -hmm. uh, and he said it's because he needs people to fear Sagat's damage. And yeah. there are lots of situations where Sagat doesn't really get that big of damage, right. unless it's like a jump in, a trace, right. you know, that kind of situation. Right sure. Other than that, doesn't really have. This is clearly button check. Yeah. Uh, other than that, he doesn't. So he wants to make you afraid of Sagat, and the way that he does that in part is by, you know, doing meaty Kara uppercuts and, and that sort of thing. It makes a lot of sense. Also, you, you mentioned Jerron fighting Sanford a lot and Jeron, and Sanford having a different style. Yeah. And I definitely think that's true. I also would venture to say, though, Sanford is a great, great, uh, like, ex-copy type of player. He can really, like, break down a player's style, tendencies, that kind of thing, and say, well, right now, if in, in a training session, I'm going to try to be Lionheart, I think. And I think that that could be okay. a pretty... Luke would have been official training session, so if they've had the time to put that together, I think that's another edge Jerron might have going into this matchup. Okay, I can see that. Stick Sagat. Okay. Thinking it over. He's, he's gonna pick Sagat. He's just, uh, you know, relaxing, getting himself into the, What? <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking. I'm just waiting to see what happens <laughs> you, right you, now. You picked the right there option. There it is. There it is. All right. I guess that's the cool thing to do. Just hover over a top tier character like Cammy or Faye. Make the other guy think about it a little bit. Yeah. Still so guy is not that. top tier. No. Still a pretty capable character, though. Yeah. I'm not saying he's bad at all. He's just not one of the top tiers. Yeah. We had three Sagats in the top 16, I think, if I recall correctly. But here it is. Lionheart versus Jaron. Wasn't a good placement on that Tiger Knee. Well, this is already where uh, Jaron wants to be. Yep. This exact situation. And he's looking to minimize that risk. He did, he, see where he was standing right there? Just outside Kara range. Oh, here it is. It was cool for a Lionheart to take those risks. He actually had the life lead, though he was losing in the positioning. There it is. Drum. A little bit of damage. Corner. Can he control it, though? And Lionheart's just looking for the ultra. He was looking. There it is. There it is. Is that going to be round? There it is. So he was putting it into the corner, but. Uh. Managed to fight from it really well. Yeah, by the, by the time he got there, he, he still had a good amount of life to take those risks that he likes to do. There's a block. Oh, but it wasn't close to Pearson. It wasn't when he was on the ground. 
That's another thing about taking those risks. They're actually smart risks that he takes. And he's minimizing the damage that he could have taken there. Yeah, using jab rather than the fierce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hero finding his way in. And again in the corner, doing a much better job of harassing Lionheart this time. Ooh, EX in the face just like that. And Lionheart, I guess, didn't want to spend the meter on that. <coughs> didn't think it was worthwhile. If it had worked, that would have been great for him. He would have been able to start things off. If it didn't, and it didn't, he would still have almost full meter for next round. Oh, man. That was hard to see. Good lord. I know, Lionheart fighting back. I know he has unbuckable setups after back throw walk toward. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if that was one, though. Not close enough to the corner to make him drop out. Lionheart forcing Hero back into the corner. Ooh, a whiff, but not punished. He worked that corner for all it was worth. Ooh, oh no! no! The but hey, drops. Keep, just keep, keep doing it. Well, it worked out for him. Yeah, exactly. And and here, so Hero has a life lead. How is he gonna play this? He knows. Oh, you know what? That was so smart. I think on both sides. Yeah, got him. Got him. Uh, that's one of those situations where it's like it's smart on both sides in a way. You know Lionheart has had uh, Dragon Punches in that kind of situation. It happened earlier in this game, yeah. in that kind of neutral situation. Right. And so Hero didn't want to take the risk, said that's kind of how he plays to minimize that stuff. He was just looking to block, didn't even have Crouch Tech, just got thrown. Oh, nice! Oh, blatant! Counter hit setup, just put it on him from a ground game. Oh, there it is! And the block immediately after that from, from Hero. Lionheart just waiting for it. That's not a good sign. Jaron's gonna start jumping in like one. this. Oh god! That is a situation where Sagat gets good damage. Has to make himself safe, unfortunately. Nice reaction. Lionheart, he's up at match point now. And he just spent a couple of meters in that losing effort at the end there. Now Lionheart will be able to throw fireballs if he wants to. There you go. Yeah, once he sees that hero walks toward and no longer has charge for EX scissors. Oh, why? <laughs> Just make up some timing. Uh -huh. to throw some buttons out. Yep. Wow, hero is, is so worried right now about Lionheart's get up options. And that's that that's just not that's not good for him, yeah. Nice. I think that's is that it? That's it. Lionheart with really convincing stuff. A lot of great reads there from Lionheart, really well, to take I, it. Yeah, I mean if if you're if you're playing like that and you're getting the right reads, right. Uh, you know, you're gonna be real tough to beat.